Welcome back to the Thomas Take Sports Podcast. Thank you for joining me today. I'm Ryan Thomas. This is the Thomas Take. Very excited to give you another take on a player that I feel will be an underrated player heading into the NFL. A guy that I think the Buffalo Bills should take a serious look at. And that is quarterback from the University of Pittsburgh, Nathan Peterman. Peterman has been reported to have visited Buffalo multiple times, um, and he's a guy that I really like. I want to talk basically about the Buffalo Bills all the time, and this is my avenue to do so. I've interacted with you guys, the listeners, on several occasions, whether it's on BSN Radio 716, whether it is on YouTube, whether it is on Facebook. I love all you guys. I really appreciate, and gals, really appreciate you guys and gals listening to the show. Um, I'm really enjoying this, very much so, and I'm really, really going to be pumping out a lot of content heading into the 2017 NFL Draft, and I can't wait to uh, continue to inform you guys, keep you guys informed, and give you guys my clear-cut, straight-out, flat-out opinion, and I'm going to do that with this player, Nathan Peterman. Peterman was a guy that was highly recruited coming out of Florida, He signed with Tennessee, tried to get a chance to play in SEC football. He had some injury problems uh, in his freshman and sophomore year, played in only four games, broke his hand. The next season he was benched. Um, Things didn't really go well up until his 2015 season and obviously his 2016 season. So he's a guy that will easily fly under the radar, but he's a guy that is getting a lot of traction Heading into this, heading into this uh, NFL draft, right in front of me, I have a scouting report written by Lance Zerline. I'm a big fan of Lance Zerline, great writer for NFL.com. He pumps out great NFL draft profiles year in and year out. And I want to give credit where credit's due. I'm going to use his work for this show. Um, so I'm going to read off some things about nathan peterman that i like nathan peterman is 6'2 226 decent sized quarterback um the analysis of his strength is a smooth quick setup in the pocket grips the ball with his big 10 inch hands poised in pocket and takes the hit to deliver a completion will set up slide and then reset before making his throw he can cut it loose from off balance angles from bootleg or play action if he sees a winning option break open early Full field reader, works all the way through his progressions, shoots glances at safeties to keep them in check. Strong natural accuracy, able to throw to receivers open and lead them away from danger. Can pinpoint passes to moving targets in his intermediate work. Has enough arm to work field side, intermediate throws, great vision. Sees passing windows before they develop. Throws with outstanding timing and anticipation. Can put the ball... In receivers' hands, as soon as they come out of a break of coverage, uh, dictates it. So this guy is everything you would want in an NFL quarterback. He hangs tough in the pocket. He's accurate. He's accurate on the run. He's accurate no matter what the play is. And I have seen this in his game time action at Pittsburgh while starting last season and in 2015. I like this quarterback a lot. I think that he is far underrated for this 2017 NFL draft. Heavily underrated going into this draft. They're they're talking about Patrick Mahomes as they should. They're talking about um, Mitch Trubisky as they should. They're talking about Deshaun Watson as they should. But they are not talking about Nathan Peterman as they should. This is a guy that, quite frankly, could go in the second, third round and have an impact on a team similar to who Lance Zerline compared him to, who I thought he reminded me of when watching his game tape, and that is Redskins quarterback Kirk Cousins. And the reason why I think the Buffalo Bills should use a draft choice on Nathan Peterman is that I don't necessarily know if Cardo Jones is ready to take over the backup role. I actually think Nathan Peterman would fit more to an NFL-style offense than Cardo Jones does. Jones had very limited starting action at Ohio State, only starting 12 games throughout his entire college career. Peterman has more of a deeper resume, uh, more starts under his belt, more quarterback-like statistics to his name 
than Cardell Jones. I anticipate that Peterman probably won't get drafted by the Bills, but this is a guy that I want you guys to learn about. This is a guy that I think, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that I think the Bills should use a third-round draft choice in selecting him, which says a lot because they do not have a fourth-round draft choice, being that they draft, they traded it up to, I believe it was Chicago, uh, for Reggie Raglan. I, I might be wrong on that. Um, I don't have that you know, in front of me fresh in mind. So, you know, obviously the guy's got weaknesses as well. More on his strength, it says he utilizes accuracy and anticipation in challenge windows on all three levels. One at Clemson hanging five touchdown passes on their talented defense. Good escapability and can extend drives with his legs. Excellent deep ball accuracy, completing 46.2% of his deep throws. His weaknesses... Inconsistent delivery base causes some throws to sail. And I have seen in similar cases where on certain throws, when he's hurried, when he's rushed, sometimes he can become a little bit, just a little bit gun shy. He will float some throws on seams and dig routes. We'll have to be mindful to drive the ball on pro level to avoid the ball hawks who are lurking at safety. He has to prove he has enough arm to challenge the same tight windows he did in college. Ball handling a little sluggish. And wide receiver screens, hitches, and most run pass option. Wants to play hero ball at times, needs to learn when to airmail throw, uh, airmail the throw, and move to next play rather than trying to get too cute with sideline throws. Can improve overall touch. And the bottom line is that I think his experience in a pro style offense, similar to what Lance wrote here. His experience in this pro-style offense will allow him to be a guy that will flourish in an NFL-style offense. As a backup, I think he could be a, one of the better young, up-and-coming backups, fringe starters in the National Football League. And he played against top competition. When he did, he played very well. So I'm shocked that he is not on more you know, top fives. I know Mike Mayock of NFL.com and NFL Network thinks pretty highly of him. Uh, I think people should be talking about this kid. He's a scholar athlete, good in the in the workout room, great in the training room, great on the practice field, great off the field in the classroom. Everything that you would want in a quarterback heading into the NFL. And I think that this is a guy that the Bills should take serious consideration into drafting. The fact that they visited with him, I think that is a encouraging sign. It's a start, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the Buffalo Bills will draft him. They do have only Tyrod Taylor and Cardell Jones. Jones, I think, is still very raw. I think he's about two, three years away from seeing NFL action and playing at a successful level. Peterman, on the other hand, although he would be a rookie, I think he is a few steps ahead of Cardell Jones uh, in terms of his NFL development. Tyrod is the clear-cut starter. But as I said on the uh, previous episode of the Thomas Take, it was Tyrod Taylor, the fine print. Um, Tyrod's deal is essentially only a one-year deal. So if he does not play up to standard, if they do miss the playoffs, if they go 5-11, and 6-10, and 7-9, and 8-8 and eight maybe, Tyrod could be let go. And they could cut him loose, decide not to pay the $18 million for 2018, um, and move in another direction. Peterman could be that guy that could be a franchise quarterback. Maybe not right out of the gate week one, start week one. He might have some growing pains. If he were to be the named the starting quarterback in 2018, he'd have some definite growing pains. But he's played in cold weather. He's played against top competition against uh, Clemson and other universities around the country, and he's played very well. He has, obviously, time to develop behind Tyrod. I think he could be a guy that could be elevated to the starting role in the event that the Bills decide not to keep Tyrod if they do not make the playoffs in 2017. That is a real possibility that I don't think Bills fans have really prepared themselves for. They don't really know a lot about it. They just know that Tyrod is extended. He's extended, but... It's essentially only a one-year deal in which he took a pay cut from his previous contract. There's an option for the second year. The second year 
would be $18 million. They could decline that and let them go and lose little to nothing, spend little dead money on the 2018 salary cap books for Tyrod Taylor. It could be a really beneficial move to have a guy like Peterman waiting in the wings that will be learning from a very good offensive coordinator. This is probably the first time in a while that I can honestly say that Rick Dennison has no baggage behind him. Greg Roman had the the 49ers baggage kind of weighing him down. He was more of a uh, conservative play caller. I think Rick Dennison actually has schemes built into this offense uh, that will really bode well for the personnel that we already have with the Sean McCoy, with Patrick DeMarco now, with Mike Tolbert. Um, it, it remains to be seen what they do at wide receiver. That could be a position that they address early in the NFL draft, as most mock drafts have them taking Mike Williams or Davis or O.J. Howard. Um, as far as the offense goes, I think they're going to go defense, but a selection that will really help the depth of their offense at the game's most important position is Pittsburgh quarterback Nathan Peterman. Look him up. Watch his highlights on YouTube. You will like what you see. He has the intangibles to be a decent starting quarterback in the NFL, a great backup in the NFL, and a guy that could develop from a great backup into a solid starter, much like Kirk Cousins. If you don't want the Buffalo Bills to draft a quarterback this year. They don't have many options in free agency. You know, Ryan Fitzpatrick is still out there, but I don't think anybody wants to kick the tires on him again. Um, That is really the only guy that I can think of that has had starting experience and has already been a quarterback on the Buffalo Bills, and it was not a success. So I would definitely look in the NFL draft, get a guy that's young, With this experienced coaching staff, it will definitely bode well for his future. I think wherever Nathan Peterman goes, he could be a decent quarterback in the National Football League. That was the Thomas Take, Nathan Peterman. Very excited to give you guys more content on BSN 716 Radio. Also, if you want to look me up and find other episodes of the Thomas Take, I do a lot of stuff on the sport of mixed martial arts the UFC, Bellator, uh, baseball, hockey, I do it all, but this is Buffalo Sports Talk time, draft time is coming, very excited for April 27th, 28th, and 29th, and obviously my birthday, April 30th, month of April, start of baseball seasons today, Um, Easter is always a decent holiday, and then you got the NFL draft, and then my 25th birthday, so April's always a good month for me, um, Very excited to pump out more content for you guys. If you want to contact me, send me some emails. Maybe make a guest appearance on the show. Feel free by emailing me at thomastake92 at gmail.com. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at thomastakeover. And like my Facebook page, the Thomas Take Sports Podcast. I'm posting stuff on there constantly. Very active on Facebook and Twitter. And also on YouTube, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel, the Thomas Take Sports Podcast. And hear every single episode of the Thomas Take that has ever been recorded. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm Ryan Thomas. Take care.